All right, we'll go ahead and get this started. Uh, we'll start with an opening statement from the coach, and then we'll open it up to the players for the questions and then excuse them. Uh, well, I'm trying to be a good loser, put it that way. Um, disappointed in, in a lot of things that happened in the game, but I'm, I'm really proud of our girls, of, of some of the obstacles and some of the things that happened, how we came back and had a chance to win, uh, several chances to win, but it just wasn't meant to be. Um, I let South Coast State play probably the best half of the year in the first half. I told the girls at halftime that uh, they probably can't play any better. They'll just, you know, just go 40 minutes. Eventually, the pressure will set in, and eventually, uh, we'll get some of the shots that we think we can make. And not that I was a prophet or anything, but uh, we had it. We had the game, and uh, a couple of calls, a couple, um, a couple of missed shots, and uh, we're on the short end. So uh, South Coast State's going to represent our conference very well. Um, they're a physical group. Coach Johnson uh, coaches a way I could never have patience with. He's so good fundamentally, uh, man to man, and the things they do. It takes a lot of work, a lot of, a lot of, a lot of organization. We're more of the up tempo run and uh, you know, let, let the kids kind of do some things that are uncoachable. But a lot of respect for what they do. Uh, can't wait to play them next year. There's a rivalry being sent right now. Um, you know, our girls are hungry, and we're going to do our best to represent our conference in WIT. So uh, give, give kids off three or four days and, and come back. But uh, not only these two, but our starters played pretty well tonight. Uh, in chalk in the first 10 minutes, we played a pretty good 30 minutes. And uh, uh, it was a good experience for a young team. Questions for the student athletes? Kevin, does that make it more disappointing, the fact you guys were able to battle back and, and get the, the momentum and then, and then see it fall away in overtime? Yeah, I mean, I'll go. Um, yeah, I mean, we definitely wanted a chance to win, you know, and, and that, that builds up your emotion. And, you know, we, we had a lot of fight in this, and I was proud of our team. Um, it definitely hurts a lot more being that close and not being able to finish it out. But, you know, we have three more years, and we'll definitely be back. So. We know the players, uh, how hard was it to deal with uh, the first half when that was just a few more back home and over time? Well, I mean, it's hard enough whenever a team's hot like that, you know, and to have that many people letting you know about it every time, it, it makes it that much more difficult, you know. It's definitely a home court advantage, but I felt that um, as a young team, we dealt with it, you know, as best we could, and it's definitely a learning experience, and um, we'll, we'll be better at it next time. So. Gary, did uh, South Dakota State do anything different from the first two times you played them as far as what they did? Yeah. I think what they uh, – not the way they defended us. Uh, what they did differently was uh, versus our full court uh, pressure. They're a lot more controlled. Uh, they brought it up with not the threat to score on us, but they brought it up with the threat to, or just with the ability to, to break it without turning the ball over. So it was a conservative move on their part, but uh, they probably saved uh, you know a good five to ten, ten turnovers that way. Uh, as a really good, you know, we pull out our press because we're burning energy. Uh, with not too many results until the last five minutes, but uh, they took a more conservative approach to to our press, and I think that was a good move on their part. Yeah, I think I had them with five straight turnovers in the last uh, the last six possessions. Uh, yeah. Regulation. You guys really had it going there, didn't you? Yeah, we did. I, you know, it just we did. We had all the momentum in the world. Uh, you know, I thought that last shot that Savannah Buck missed. Uh, I was standing right behind her. I thought it was in. I almost jumped up and shook my fist. I was going to go through the net, and then he back of the rim and bounced straight back. So uh, three quarters of an inch, uh, it might have rattled in. But you know, we were there. That's why I told the girls that uh, when I passed out the trophies there, that you know, despite everything that happened, we had multiple chances of winning, and uh, it's easier to swallow because we were there and had a chance. Any more questions for the student athletes? Yeah, I want to ask. On the on the charge, uh, I, it looked like to me you purposefully veered as far to the right as you could. And do you want to talk about that? Yeah, I mean, I know that every team's looking to take charges. I mean, usually I judge it by like she was running along with me, and that's usually how I judge it. It's like you know, are they already there for me? And so if they're, I'm gonna either detour to the, to the left or something, or just like shoot the jump shot. But I mean. I, she was running down with me, and she was there maybe like point two seconds before I was, and so that's why I went ahead with the layup. And I guess you know I should have known that they would call it a charge, but I mean I would beg to differ. Yeah. So. 
Well, I think the time before that, or right after that, is when Kevin got a steal. And they didn't get any free throws out of it. Yeah, I wouldn't watch the DVD on that one. There was, there was about a five-point swing there that was, yeah, it was just it was frustrating. At the same time then, uh, Savannah had a chance to win it. So it is frustrating, but we're good losers. Jeremy, oh, Roberts. We'll, we'll take one more from the student athletes and then dismiss them. Kevin, could you sense a little bit of their panic when you guys were starting to rack up steals and, and can you sense when a team is sort of becoming skittish and playing scared almost? I can definitely tell because like in the beginning we weren't getting our hands on any of our any of their passes, which is a lot of our game and um, you know, they're confident in all their passes and then finally we started getting our hands on them and you could just sense that they were like just thinking twice before they would try to make that pass and so that's I think that's about when we started making that turn around a bit and I guess it wasn't enough, but we were there. Thank you, ladies. <coughs> Excuse me. Hey, Jerry.